What's good everybody? Welcome to Bowler's Paradise. My name is Ben. I'm a USBC Silver Certified Coach and today we are taking a look at the all new Archetype Hybrid from Track. Before we fire this one up, be sure you subscribe to the channel. It's free, it's easy, and it is the best way to help us bring you the best non-biased and cross-brand reviews in bowling. So while you're down there, be sure you hit that notification bell too so you don't miss out on the next review. Track releases the second hybrid ASIM in a row with the all new Archetype Hybrid. Designed with the heavy oil environment in mind, the Archetype Hybrid features the tried and true iCore 3.0 Slim Core with a 2.51 RG and 053 differential and a pretty high 020 intermediate diff. On the outside of this powerhouse is the blue, black, and white QR11 HK22 cover finished to 1500 grit polished out of the box. For the layout, honestly, I wasn't really sure what to do, so I looked at what worked well on some other similar ASIMs, and most of the Brunswick brand balls have performed pretty well with layouts similar to this 5 by 4 and a quarter by 3 2LS layout. It is a middle of the road type of layout, but also doesn't cut performance. In short, it's been reliable in showing me what these types of balls can do best. And on the lanes, the archetype was best at hooking and hooking a lot. I was shocked by how strong this one is. Now, to be fair, I did say this one was meant for heavy oil conditions, and I had beaten this lane up pretty good with the Pure Madness and the Evoke, but still, holy cow. The archetype hybrid grabbed the lane surface early on a lot of these shots, so I clearly wasn't matched up, but even with that, I see a lot of promise in this one. See, my favorite part about throwing this one from track was even though this lane was toasted and I couldn't get left enough, I still had a good sense of what the ball was going to do based on how I threw it. See, a lot of times big ASIMs can do weird things with angles this steep, but the archetype's shape matched what I thought it was going to do pretty much every shot in a situation where I would expect a lack of consistency. Now on the list of downsides, I think the amount of oil necessary for this one to perform well might be really high. Similar to the Hellcat Accelerate, the Quantum Evo Response, and a few others, this one has a ton of power built in, which if you're struggling to get to the pocket is a great thing to have. However, if any of these pieces aren't matched up, it's a pretty sure bet that there are other options that would be better. So if the Archetype Hybrid is as situational as I think it is, I think pairing it with a Stealth Pearl and a Black Widow 3.0 would give you enough versatility to let the Archetype shine. The Widow 3.0 has a similarly strong core, but is much more of a benchmark style reaction. And the Stealth Pearl is one of the most versatile symmetrical pearls on the market. And that pairing would let you use the Archetype when the time is right. Jumping to our cross brand comparisons, I first took a look at the Crimson Jackal from Motive. And here we can see again, just how fried this lane is, but also how the Jackal stands up to one of the strongest pieces from the brands of Brunswick. Both options have so much core, it's tough to get them through the mid lane, but the Jackal being Pearl stores a bit more angle and is sharper through the pins. Then I took a look at the clone from Roto Grip, and here you can see how it blends out that hook spot in the mid lane a bit more, which makes sense as it's a polished solid piece. The clone has been a great option on high ratio conditions because of this tendency. However, I think the archetype hybrid will outperform it on sport conditions where you need the ball to make more shape. But with that, here's my recommendations that I think would match up well with the archetype hybrid from track. The first is full rollers. This unique style typically matches up with big core ASIMs like this, and the archetype has a great blend of strength, but also pop down lane. That will aid these bowlers in getting the corners out on fresh conditions. The second recommendation is for bowlers that are speed dominant, but still have an above average rev rate. If your miss on fresh is firing it past the break point, I don't think the archetype hybrid is going to let that happen. These bowlers, so long as they don't move in too quick, will be able to stick to their A game and let the ball do the work on tough and easy conditions alike. The all new archetype hybrid from track is a whole lot of bowling ball, but in the right hands could be the powerhouse you need to light up the scoreboard. And you can pick this up today and much more at BowlersParadise.com. Be sure to use the discount code YouTube at checkout for free shipping. Thank you to my friend Nick Pluck for the drilling of this piece and to Dale's Weston Lanes for letting us film this video. If you haven't yet liked this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell for more balling product reviews. But as always, remember you guys, having the right ball in your hands, now that's a Bowlers Paradise. Peace.